Okay, now for question number one from January 2017, International A Level, the Statistics 1 paper. Here we have a histogram, and it says Ralph records the weights in grams of 100 tom tomatoes. The information is displayed in the histogram below, and we've got the frequency density on the y axis and the weight in grams on the x axis. Given that five of the tomatoes have a weight between two and three grams, find the number of tomatoes with a weight between zero and two grams. Okay, now, so what we can do is we basically know that this bar between two and three grams represents five tomatoes. So we can see that um, the width of the bar, okay, in terms of the units is one, and you have one, two, three, four, five squares. So that's like one times five, so that must be a frequency density of five because five times one gives you five. That, that will cause there to be five here. So the number of tomatoes with a weight between zero and two grams, well, we got here two times two, there must be four in here, two times two. So the number of tomatoes which have a weight between zero and two grams is going to be two times two, which is going to be four. It's basically the frequency density times the interval, okay, which is equal to four. So you can say that there are four tomatoes in the zero to two grams category. Okay, that's pretty simple enough. Then it says one of the tomatoes is selected at random, find the probability that it weighs more than three grams. Okay, so there's nine tomatoes less than three grams, and there's a hundred tomatoes altogether. Okay, there's a hundred tomatoes altogether. Okay, so the number of tomatoes, the probability that the weight of the tomatoes is more than three grams is going to be, we've got 100, minus 9 over 100. It's going to be 91 over 100. You can write it as a fraction, you can write it as a decimal, no problem. But 0 0.91 is a probability that it weighs more than 3 grams. Because there's 9 that weigh below 3 grams, there must be 91 that weigh above 3 grams, or more than 3 grams. Okay, that's part B done. Part C, estimate the proportion of the tomatoes with a weight greater than 6.25 grams. Okay, now it's talking about estimating 6.25. So we've got to think, figure out where 6.25 is here. Now, this is 5 and this is 6. Now you've got um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You split into 5 parts. So that's going to be 6.2. That's going to be 6.3. Okay, so, um, so that's going to be 6.42. That's going to be 6.4. That's going to be 6.6, 6 6.87. So 6.25 is exactly halfway between these two. Let me make this a bit thinner so it doesn't look out of place. So 6.25 is exactly halfway between here and here. I haven't quite drawn it correctly. Let me move it slightly across. Exactly halfway between those two is 6.25. Okay, so that's what we have to that's like the boundary. 6.25 okay so there we have 6.25 and we want to estimate the number of tomatoes altogether in this region above it greater than 6.25 so in this bar you're going to have 1 times that's 5 8 1 times 8 which is 8 here you're going to have from 8 to 9 that's 1 times that's 10 which is 10 and here you're going to have from 7 to 8, 1 times, that's, that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So there's 25 here. Okay, so we're going to have, that's like 35 and 40, that's 43 altogether up to that there. And greater than 6.25, we're going to have from 6.25 to 7. Okay, so that, that width is going to be from 6.25 to 7. That's going to be 0 0.75 multiplied by how high it is. It's going up to, that's 5, 10, that's 15, that's 16. It goes up to 16, okay? So 0 0.75 times 16, which is 3 quarters times 16, which is going to be 12. Okay, so there's 12 in this region here. Just in this region here, after this shaded part here, basically. So that's 12 plus 25 plus 10 plus 8. So it says find the 
um, estimate the proportion of tomatoes with a great weight uh, greater than 6.25 so the proportion you got 12 plus 25 plus 10 plus 8 okay so the pro proportion that's over 100 okay so you're going to have that's 35 that's 42 um, sorry that's 35 that's 47 plus 8 that's 55 over 100 okay so the proportion is going to be like 1120 like a fraction okay so part d says using your answer to part c explain whether or not the median is greater than 6.25 grams well we can see that 55 55 of the uh, items of the tomatoes are their weight is greater than 6.25 that means 45 are less than 6.25 so the median must be greater than 6.25 because the median is such that there's 50 percent of the data to the right and to the left of it so it's not right in the middle okay so 6.25 if it was in the middle then the median okay um, then if if it was in the middle then there would be 50 percent on either side so for it to be the median it has to be slightly bigger than 6.25 so you end up with 50 50 on either side so because as okay as 0 0.55 is less than 0 0.5 therefore okay the median must be the median must be greater than 6.25 grams okay so that you end up with exactly 50 percent of the data on either side okay um so that 50% of the data is before and after the median. Sorry, my hand drawing is getting bad again. Okay, so that's the answer to part D. Okay, so now the answer to part E. Given that the mean weight of these tomatoes is 6.25 grams and using your answers to part D, describe the skewness of the data. So basically we know that the median, the median, okay, is greater than the mean. All right. If the median is greater than the mean, it will look something like this. Okay. The median is greater than the mean. It will look something like this. The median is always, okay, if it's, if it's skewed, the median is always the bit that's higher up. So it points in this direction, okay? So if the median is greater than the mean, then it has what's called negative skew. The tail points to the left. So it's negative skew, okay? So that's the reason for the answer. So the skewness of the distribution is negative. Why? Because the median is greater than the mean. That's the reason and that's the, that's the um, statement of the answer. Then it says two of these 100 tomatoes are selected at random. Estimate the probability that both these tomatoes weigh within 0 0.75 grams of the mean. Okay, so the mean we said was 0, sorry, it was 6.25. Okay, so the mean is equal to 6.25. So if they were to weigh within 0 0.75 grams of the mean, then the weight would be between um, basically 6.25 minus 0 0.75 and 6.25 plus 0 0.75. Well, that's equal to 7, and that's equal to 5.5, uh, right? Let's just make sure of that. 6.25 minus 0 0.75 okay which is 5.5 so we want to find that the weight is between 5.5 and 7 that's what we want to find okay so we want to find that probability so we go back to our graph and we look for between 5.5 and 7 so basically between 5.5 and 7 that's 5 that's 5.5 so between 5.5 to 7 well, that's a, a distance of 1.5. So you have 1.5 times the height of the bar, which is the frequency density, which is 16. So it's 1.5 times 16. Okay, so it will be that over 100. So 
we have 5.5 times 7, sorry, 5.5 The width of the bar is that's uh, 1.5. So you have 1.5 times the frequency density, which is 1.5 times 16, which is 16 plus uh, which is 16 plus 4. 1.5 times 16, which is 16 plus 8. Sorry, okay, 16 plus 8. 1.5 times 16, okay, which gives you 24. All right, so you got 24 out of 100 okay so the, for the first tomato um, the probability that it weighs within 1.75 grams of the mean is 24 over 100 now for the second tomato now there's only 23 tomatoes left in that category out of 99 okay so that's the probability that you um, okay there's that's basically at 24 over 100 times 23 over 99 because they're both the same category okay so 24 over 100 times 23 over 99 which will give us our answer 24 over 100 times 23 over 99 which gives us 46 over 825 so 46 over 825 which you can write as a uh, decimal as 0 0.05575 0 0.05575 so we're going to say 0 0.0558 and there we have our answer to this question